On 7 Up Front tonight, looking ahead to a big event in the works. Detroit is the host city this summer for the Special Olympics Unified Cup. It will bring together hundreds of athletes from some 25 countries. Those with and without intellectual disabilities will play on the same team. Joining us live with more on this unique competition is Tim Heilman, CEO of Special Olympics Michigan. Tim, thanks for being with us tonight. Yeah, thanks so much. My pleasure. This event is all about the unifying power of sport. Tell us more about it and what uh, we can expect. Yeah, well, in just 177 days, uh, Special Olympics Michigan and the city of Detroit is going to open its doors to um, athletes from around the world, 25 countries, as you alluded to, and, and playing the most popular sport in the country, which is soccer. Uh, this will be the first Special Olympics international event that's been held in four years, and we're just so thrilled to be able to, to bring it to the city of Detroit and really just spread the message of inclusion and, you know, the power that sports has. It's a catalyst for change and um, you know, we, we just know that the city of Detroit is going to welcome these athletes with open arms and we can't wait for a great week. And a catalyst for unifying sport as well. Now, this is a relatively new event. The first Unified Cup was in Chicago in 2018. What kind of impact do you expect it to have on Detroit as host city the week of July 31st through August the 6th? Yeah, so this will be the second ever Unified Cup, but knowing that they plan on, on this being a every four year event, very much like the World Cup. Um, and so uh, starting with the opening ceremony on July 31st up to the final ceremony on August 6th, which will be broadcast by ESPN, um, it's going to be a, a week of, of incredible soccer matches throughout the city of Detroit. Um, Detroit Pal Corner Bar Ballpark, Schoolcraft College, Wayne State University, um, uh, say Detroit, all different venues throughout the city that are going to be hosting athletes, hosting activities, hosting events, whether it's a, a soccer event or also um, the first ever Unified Champion City School Initiative will also be occurring during the same time um, in, with some of the great work that we do with our Detroit public school system. And Tim, what are these athletes, again, coming from uh, all over the world, what do they take away from the Unified Cup? Sure. So, so one, being on a unified team, it provides that opportunity for, for both those with and without intellectual disabilities to form just natural relationships, feel the opportunity to be included. Um, we, we've seen what, what the power of, of, of unifying sports does. It translates from practice fields, then to game fields, but then it, it translates into being invited to the birthday parties, having the social opportunities. Um, and, and sports really can change communities when, when everyone's come comes together and so so we're excited about that when individuals are, are in the stands cheering on athletes you may not know um who the the athlete is and who is the partner and that's the other great thing about sports um you know it helps to break down barriers because you know special olympics and special olympics michigan um our, our goal is really to help empower the incredible athletes and provide opportunities for them to shine and there's no better place to shine than that week in Detroit when they're on the soccer pitch or off the pitch. Yeah, we'll look forward to it. It's going to be an exciting time. Uh, Tim, thank you for uh, bringing this to us and uh, we'll be sure to check in as we approach the, uh, the Unified uh, Cup event here in Detroit. Thank you. Thank you.